I was pregnant with my second child, there were some sort of stunning and scary articles about the potential for a person who has pemphigus to pass those antibodies onto the baby. And so these articles were saying that the baby could be born covered in lesions and would have to be cared for like in a burn unit, sitting in the hospital with a flashlight alone with him at night and just going over every single crevice of his body to make sure that he was okay. And I did that for days. I decided not to do any kind of systemic treatment because I was nursing him and I didn't want anything to potentially be passed through the breast milk. I don't think that I should have to live a life, I don't think it's fair to my kids, that I have to warn them when I kiss them and hug them or when they kiss and hug and play with me. When I'm fragile and my medications aren't working for me, a simple kiss can break my skin and make me bleed. A misstep on a headbutt <laughs> or a flailing arm or um, doing a voice too loud when I'm reading a book, sneezing the wrong way, yawning, all of these things can rip my throat apart and make me bleed and create lesions. That's a tough place for a little kid to be, to feel like they hurt mommy. How many mommies do you have? Well, mommy, 